In this Madison, Wisconsin area community tours video, we are going to explore the neighboring towns of DeForest and Windsor, which are straight north of Madison and just south of the Dane County line. Hi, I'm Brad Bredhauer with eXp Realty, a lifelong Madison area resident and a 20 year real estate veteran in the area. We are going to take a look at various neighborhoods and points of interest in the area. So if you have plans to move to this area, you can make an educated decision about living here, or at least get a good visual starting point of what it looks like in this area and what this area has to offer. Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of weekly topic videos, market reports, community tours, and much more that we publish about the area. Let's check it out. So the next area we're going to look at is the Yahara Elementary School District area. This area is in the northwest corner of DeForest near the interstate exit at Highway V, east of River Road, south of Highway V, which is also North Street, north of South Street, and west of Main Street. Homes in this area are built as early as the late 60s to early 70s and as new as late 90s to early 2000s roughly. Points of interest in this area are Yahara Elementary School. Lots of fast food restaurants on Highway V, which is just off the interstate exit. And most notably, the Green Space and Upper Yahara River Trail System and Western Green Park. So this is the original part of DeForest where some of the older homes are built. So this area is in the northeast corner of DeForest near the State Highway 51 exit at Highway V. It's west of Highway 51, south of Highway V, which is also referred to as North Street, north of Vinburn Road, and east of Main Street. So there's a variety of homes in this area, like I said, that are built as, as uh, early or as late as the 18, late 1800s, I would say, as early as the late 1800s up to maybe about the early 2000s, just depending on what particular neighborhood you're in. Holm Street has the older houses primarily, and there's some in behind there as the ages get a little older. But um, there's quite a range of different neighborhoods and um, ages of houses in this area. Points of interest in this area include Eagle Point Elementary School, which serves most of this area, DeForest Area High School, which serves both DeForest and Windsor children, Fireman's Park, which is in the center of the area near the Village Hall and the Police and Fire Department, Liberty Land Park and Doll Park. So this next area we're gonna look at is the Conservancy Place area, like I like to call it, that's the main neighborhood. This area is in the southwest corner of DeForest near the interstate I-90, 94, and 39, in between the two area interstate exits east of the interstate. North of Windsor Road, south of Sunnybrook Park, west of Main Street in DeForest, which also turns into Highway CV Lake Road as you head to Windsor. That part of it's a little confusing because when it starts at Highway 19 to the south, as you head north through Windsor, it's Highway CV slash Lake Road. Once you cross into DeForest, I think at about Vinburn Road, it turns into Main Street and DeForest. Homes in this area range from ongoing new construction up to homes built in the very early 2000s. Points of interest in this area include Conservancy Place, Upper Yahara River Trail System, the DeForest Athletic Complex, which has four baseball and softball type fields, a football, soccer, lacrosse field for youth sports, and a coming soon driving range, kind of similar to Top Golf. Also in this area is Conservancy Commons Park, which is used for youth sports, splash pad, pavilion rentals, and finally, uh, Sunfish Pond to the south near Windsor Road is a kids uh, like kind of fishing area, which is really awesome. Homes in this area are in a mixture of 
the village of the forest, the forest and the village of Windsor. It's kind of strange how the boundaries work, but the village limits kind of jut around and, and um, it's not real, very, very symmetrical, we'll say. So, you know, take a look at a map. You can kind of see what's what. And, you know, both of these towns do funnel to the same high school and the same middle school and intermediate school. And it just, you know, it's separate for elementary schools in certain areas. Okay, so the next area we're going to take a look at is the Wolf Hollow area, which is in Windsor. So this is in the southwest corner of Windsor near Highway 51 and Windsor Road exit. It's west of Highway 51, north of Highway 19, east of Highway CV, which is Lake Road, and south of Gray Road. Homes in this area are mostly new or newer construction built after 2000. There, are, there is a mixture of some older, maybe 60s to 80s built homes that are along Windsor Road or in that general area, but primarily most of the stuff is relatively newer. Points of interest in this neighborhood include Windsor Elementary School, Harvest Intermediate School, which is for all children 4th to 6th grade in the entire DeForest and Windsor area school district, and Windsor Fireman's Park, which is currently under a huge renovation, adding lots of amenities to the park area, such as pickleball courts and various other things, to the existing youth ball diamonds, which have been there. So it's gonna be a fantastic uh, park all around when it's all done. And again, all these homes are in the Windsor area. So the next area we're gonna look at is the Hollands Fields area. This area is in both DeForest and Windsor and it's south of Vinburn Road, east of Main Street in DeForest, Highway V, CV, Lake Road, north of Gray Road and west of Highway 51. So homes in this area are mostly new or newer construction built after the year of 2000. Points of interest in this area include Ryan Funeral Home and other various neighborhood parks, including Old Amsterdam Park, Cradle Hill Park, which has an awesome splash pad and hosts these food trucks on Mondays in the summer, which is pretty cool, and Heritage Gardens Park and Antique Acres Park. Homes in this area are both in the forest and in Windsor. So the next area we're gonna take a look at is the Tuscan Ridge area where the Tuscan Ridge condominiums are. This area is north of Windsor Road, south of Oak Springs Road, west of Highway CV, which is Lake Road, and east of the Ahara River. Homes in this area range from late 80s to early 2000s primarily, but those condos that I mentioned at Tuscan Ridge were built you know, right around 2016 to 2020, somewhere in there. Points of interest in this area include neighborhoods of Bull Run, Hidden Springs, Tuscan Ridge, and Paradise Circle. All neighborhoods except Bull Run are connected by a trail that will cut you through all the other neighborhoods. Bull Run is soon to be connected by the new bridge that's under construction on Windsor Road, which is gonna connect the path that comes out of the Bull Run neighborhood over across the bridge and then over to Sunfish Pond, which is the southernmost starting point of the Upper Yahara River Trail. And also point of interest in this area is the Lord of Love Church. All the homes in this area are in Windsor. All right, so the next area we're gonna look at is the Upper Yahara River Trail, which is kind of the uh, big feature in the area, in my opinion, as being an avid walker and someone who likes to use the trail. It connect, it goes all the way from Windsor Road at the south all the way up to um, Main Street and Acre Parkway to the north right near Veterans Park. 
This trail system is really awesome. It has very scenic views. You see lots of wildlife and um, it's just a great, great place. You can do various loops through different neighborhoods, in and out of different neighborhoods. There's various entry and exit points and um, it's, it's fantastic for the person that likes to walk and bike or run. Thanks for watching this Madison, Wisconsin area community tours video. I hope you found this content helpful and informative. Please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified of our weekly topic videos, market reports, community tours, and much more that we publish about the area. Please reach out to us anytime with any of your questions about the area or any general real estate related questions that we can answer for you. If you want a free list of homes in the area, We'll be happy to send you a list of what's available in any of these neighborhoods or in all of the area. So just reach out anytime and we're happy to send that over to you. Thanks again for watching.